Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is the tenth and last video in a series called Influential Architects. Vanity Fair published an article in their August 2010 issue about the most influential pieces of architecture built since 1980. I thought it'd be interesting to do a series about some of my favorite architects and create an object based around their design thinking. Let me first say that for the sake of time, I'm distilling ideas and simplifying concepts here, all for the sake of creating something informational and fun. Many years ago, I tried, unsuccessfully, to get a job with an architectural firm in Vienna, Austria, called Co-op Himmelblau. Co-op Himmelblau was at the cutting edge of an architectural movement called Deconstructivism. In 1988, they completed a project called Falkestrasse. It's a law firm meeting room set on top of a building in downtown Vienna. Falkestrasse is quite obviously a very unique project. Now, without getting into theory, in simple terms, deconstructivism is a style of architecture where the building appears to have been taken apart, shuffled, then reassembled, but incorrectly. All kidding aside, with that said, deconstructivism can be a powerful style of representation that allows architecture to be expressive, where form takes precedent over function. Co-op Himmelblau, along with a few other architects, are part of a movement that has changed the way we see and make architecture forever. In fact, the result of Vanity Fair's survey of 52 experts was that Frank Gehry's deconstructivist Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao is the most influential piece of architecture built since 1980. And that's something to think about. We'll see you next time.